Democrats are suing to block new Republican-backed election certification rules in Georgia. They're warning the rules could lead to post-election chaos in the state. CNN's Brian Todd reports. Georgia's Secretary of State exasperated over the latest election controversy there. The state election board is a mess. Brad Raffensperger, a Republican, is frustrated with members of his own party who are on the Georgia State Election Board. Three unelected Republicans on that board recently approved measures that would give local officials the power to delay the certification of a county's election results this November. Freedom, freedom. Now, top Democrats, with the backing of Kamala Harris's presidential campaign, are suing the Georgia State Election Board, trying to block those new rules. With passing this new rule, they are creating barriers to counting votes and certifying the elections. So Donald Trump can once again attempt to throw our country into chaos. Total Former President Trump recently praised those three board members, Janelle King, Rick Jeffries, and Dr. Janis Johnston. Are all pit bulls fighting for honesty, transparency, and victory? They're fighting. In an interview with CNN, one of those board members, Janelle King, denied working on behalf of Trump. I'm appreciative of the president's support. I will forever be appreciative of any, you know, support. But I'm not working on behalf of anybody. But Democrats and watchdog groups argue that those Republican election board members don't have the power to give county officials the power to contest votes. There is not uh, any discretion that is allowed for under Georgia's election law uh, that would permit uh, these uh, unelected officials to inject themselves in between the voters and the certified results. Who does have that power? The power vests with someone who's aggrieved in the election. So, for instance, a candidate. A candidate can say... You know, I think that I have uh, the, the votes were not counted properly. This is just the latest election controversy to flare up in Georgia since the 2020 campaign. Donald Trump lost the state that year by just over 10,000 votes, and President, Georgia was at the center of Trump's attempts to overturn the election. All I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. No evidence was ever found to support Trump's claims of voter fraud in Georgia. Now, Georgia Democrats and voting rights advocates are calling on the state's Republican governor to investigate the Republicans on the state election board. And one Democratic state senator has filed an ethics complaint against them for pushing to change the rules so close to the election. Governor Brian Kemp issued a statement saying he's taking the matter up with the state attorney general.